How you feeling, Cully? All right. Got some company downstairs. Company? Yeah. Friend of yours. Waiting downstairs. Name's Kirby. 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 I got Kate spin down. Come on, Tully. No, and you didn't ask for any help when he saved your neck out there in the street, either. Listen, you left us high and dry back there. Little John wouldn't be out there now if it wasn't for this creep. What are you all after from me? in in a couple of hours. Deal a card, will you? What happened to Blake? I went to get some water. Just 
get him back in here. Two-handed poker for credit is ridiculous. Let me see. All right, how many you want? I love you. I'll play these. Well, Carl, that's what I like about you. Your poker face. You never know what's going on. This is your second platoon. Company K? Yeah. You a replacement? Well, my name's Little John, and this here's Cage. Over there's Kirby. Hi. I'm a call. Welcome to. Is there a Lieutenant Hanley around? Yeah. He'll be back in a minute. What's your name? Cully. Hey, uh, Cully, want to sit in? I don't hold a gambling. Oh. Suit yourself. All right, McCall. If the war lasts long enough and your credit holds up, I'm going to teach you how to play cards. Yeah, yeah, if you don't talk me to death first. <sighs> Deal of cards, will you? Deal, cried the loser as the winner put the money into his pocket. Some bankroll. What'd you do, rob a bank? You mind your own business. Sorry, friend. Sociable cuss. He don't hold much to gambling. Of course, with McCall, it ain't much of a gamble. Tens. Aces. I quit. That's what I like, a nice, friendly poker game. <laughs> Come on, deal a card, will you? Cut. How long have you been over, Collie? Not long. Well, you're lucky. The crowds are pulling back. Cigarette? I got more and thanks. Come on, deal. Cut. Right. All right, saddle up. We're moving out. Where are we headed, Lieutenant? Village a couple of miles from here. S2 reports the Germans have pulled out, but they want an OP set up. Lieutenant, we got a new replacement. Name's Cully, sir. Private Jim Cully. Where are you from, Cully? West Virginia. What unit? I was with the replacement company, sir. Okay, Cully. Let's move out. Cage, on the point.
thought I saw something move up there. Check it out up front, around the bend. Part of West Virginia you're from, Cully. Bluefield? Hey, I was there once. My dad was thinking about buying some farmland down around there. You farm? Yep. <laughs> the way those mountains go straight up down there, I, I bet it's pretty rough, huh? Remember once we took a side road over one of those mountains? I thought we'd never get down. We ended up on a, a cow path. It wasn't any wider than... Brigham, you don't hold much of an idle talk, either.
Cully, what's the matter with you? You saw we needed help back there. What's going on here? Uh, they had Cage pinned down. Cully wouldn't make a move to help him. You told me to cover you from there. That's what I did. What I was told. I don't care about nothing else. Listen, you left us high and dry back there. Knock it off, Kirby. Cage, take the point. Blake, carry the radio. All right, let's move out. Cully. Yes, sir? I don't know if you were right or wrong, but up here we depend on each other. That's the way we stay alive. You understand? Yes, sir. Well, like I said, I just do as I'm told. I heard you, Cully. Move out. Anything? Nah, looks all clear. Blake, McCall, you with me. We're going on the left. Cage, you and the others going on the right. I want every building checked out. Right, let's move.
okay, Cully? Everything okay? Everything's all right. The rest of the town looks clean. What about the street? Oh, we got hit before we could finish, Lieutenant. Little John, you and Cully check it out. We'll set up the OP in the church. Meet us there. Let's go. You should have thanked Cage, Cully. It's all clean, Lieutenant. Blake, set the radio up in the steeple. Seen some bad times. It's nothing much now but a pile of junk. Well, uh, a fella could maybe fix up. You got one on your farm? Nope. How do you do your plowing? I got one old horse. He's more dead than alive. Paid high for him, too. Got took, huh? People same all over. Take advantage of you. Not everybody, Cully. Take the guys in our squad. They're okay. You just have to get to know them. I ain't gonna be around long enough. How come? Well, I put in papers and go home. Yeah, I don't belong here. I don't even know what's going on half the time. Places I never heard of. People I can't understand. Running around shooting bullets at somebody I've never seen before. It, well, it don't make sense. I told him it was just plain stupid. I no soldier. You own your own land? Well, my folks do. When I get home, I'm gonna stake me out a piece in the high country. Ain't much in the way of grown land, mostly rocks. You don't have a bunch of fancy folks working your fingers raw 20 hours a day. Cheating you out of your crops, throwing you in jail, calling you a hill, Billy vagrant when you stand up for your rights. Most people are okay, given a chance. A 
I reckon we better be getting back. Hmm? Yeah. Hanley speaking. Over. Roger. We'll stand by. Out. Can't see too much behind those buildings on the left. All right, we'll check it out. Hey, you want to smoke, McCall? Nah, reckon I got my own. Gee, what you fellas don't know it. Back where I come from, we ain't got much use for people. No, sir. Bars and beavers, that's what we like. Mmm, yes. You city folks with your fancy smokes, you just don't know what you ate. He wants us to check out the bridge at the edge of town, see if it will handle our heavy equipment. Kelly, come with me. Hey, Kelly. I, uh... going, McCall. You sure helped him. Oh, forget it, little Johnny doesn't want any help. Well, how do you know that, Kirby? Well, he told us he doesn't care if we all drop dead. Look, if he wants to be alone, just let him. It's not going to hurt anything. How do you know he wants to be? I'll bet he never even heard of Germany when they pulled him off that farm of his. He doesn't even know where he is. Have you guys ever been in those mountains? Have you? Mm -mm. Well, I have. I've seen his kind of people try to scratch out a living. Picking crops on, on farms for a, a half a buck a day. And sleeping in barns at night. Yeah, well, he ain't the only one who's had it rough. Well, sure. But some have it rougher. I got to talking to him. I don't think he's ever gotten anything from anybody except maybe a, a lump in the head. He's afraid to trust anybody. Well, look, what do you want us to do? Make up a special set of rules for him? We had a bunch of replacements in this outfit, little John. We didn't give him a bad time. Just not forgetting what he did back there. Look, Kirby. Maybe Cully was wrong. But why don't you give him a chance?
What is it? It's a page from a catalog. It's a tractor. A tractor? That's what he's been saving his money for. Boy, he'll have to save a long time on army pay. Hey, is the lieutenant down here? Uh, he's still outside. Uh, company on the radio. He's coming up the street right now. Hey, Lieutenant, there's a call for thinking a tractor back there we got one just about to about the same size back home it's not much to look at <laughs> but it runs pretty good I could let you have it cheap if you wanted it clear the rocks off your land pretty quick. And you wouldn't have to pay for it all at once, either. You could put something down and pay the rest when you can. What? What do you want to do that for? Well, we're not using it. We bought a new one. So it's just sitting there rusting. What are you all after from me? Why don't you quit nosing in my business? Carly, can't you see when somebody's trying to help you? I never asked for no help. No, and you didn't ask for any help out there in the street when Kate saved your neck, either. Kirby, I'm warning you. Okay, Carly, any time. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. All right. Check it out. Roger, out. Anything? Not a thing, Lieutenant. Company reports NMA activity in the sector. I'm going downstairs and check positions. What's up, Lieutenant? Company reports some crowd activity. We better check the north end of town. Little John, you and Cully take one street. Cage, you and McCall the other. If you see any movement, get back here fast. All right.
gone. Come on Monday, it's gone. I must have lost it back there. Hey, Cully! Hey, John Crop's coming in. Where's Cully? Well, he lost his money back there. He, he, he went after it. I'll go get him. Well, are you crazy? Come on. And I'll go on. I know where he is. Look. To look for. Little John went after him. Here comes Cully. Cully! Where's Little John? I don't know. Ain't he here? Has anybody seen my money? Krauts all over the place. Little John's out there looking for you and you're worrying about your lousy money. Krauts? Well, I never seen any Krauts. Get ready. so worried about little Johnny your money lay off Kirby lay off lay off nothing little John wouldn't be out there now if it wasn't for that creep well I didn't ask him to come after me you didn't have to he was worried about you he shouldn't have done it that's right he shouldn't have done it you ought to tell him that he's alive Crazy fool doing.
That's my call. It's been down that doorway down there. Let's go. for you. All of us guys, we searched out the town after we got the crowds out of the inn. I found it under a window. I guess you must have dropped it when you was going through it. Thanks. You, you got everything you need? Yeah, I got everything I need. Look, uh, Cully, back there, I, I blew up. I, uh... I told you, Kirby. You got no worry. You done me a favor. You got me just what I wanted out of this lousy army. Things worked out just fine. I'm going home. I reckon that's the answer you came for. You can go back and sleep peaceful now. It's funny. You know? <laughs> All you guys scouring that village looking for my money pouch? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself some rest, Cully. Make it is he? How much time has he got? Not long. He didn't want you to know. Yes, sir. Where is he? He's 
upstairs. Little John? He's not gonna make it. <laughs> 